Welcome back everyone to episode 5 of Let's Play Rule the Waves. Despite our really terrible showing in the last episode, um, where our light cruiser just really couldn't hit anything, and ended up being hit by a torpedo when I tried to ram one of the destroyers. I mean, it's a funny story after the fact, but I was pretty annoyed. Uh, anyway, what we have going on here is a fleet engagement, so hopefully we can get a little more action than we've been getting from these guys. Uh, they just typically just run away, and that's not like terribly exciting. It's mean that I've I've probably skipped about 50 minutes of recording time just because um, it's not fun for anybody to just watch me uh, t attempting to track down a ship and then not track it down. Uh, we might be up to more or less the same situation here. Oh, these fights are getting annoying. Hmm. So this is basically how it goes. Now I'm gonna assume actually that their heavy cruisers were tracking for the bigger fleet. So let's go ahead and head southeast a little more, which is where this ship was coming from, with the hope that I will be actually able to find the rest of their fleet. So our battleships are idiots, that's fine. And there we go. So we'll slow down to 16 and we'll attempt to get wind side of them. Kind of waiting for the rest of our battleships to catch up anyway. No, this is, I mean, this is it, yeah. But are my ships going to join? What do I do? Should we just charge in? Sure. And we started off with a nice hit to our engines, which knocked our speed down. And here we go. Okay. Well, let's see how this goes. We'll just drive through once. I'm not too worried about uh, these engagements at this point. We're just going to attempt to keep pushing on through the turns. I should be moving slow enough, in fact, that our other ships should be catching up. And I'm okay leaving them on AI controlled because we doubt that there's going to be any hits this early in the war anyway. And it's really cool to see how effective the higher levels of fire control are. We hit the suffering ones. I mean, we have just had such a garbage time trying to hit their ships. They even sank one of our light cruisers. I'm, I'm still surprised by that. There's a few hits. What is the worth doing? So maybe I should take these guys off AI control. Uh, they get themselves into some really silly situations like this. Let's get you to go 16 at least. Worst case scenario here, um, you can focus on their heavy cruiser worth. Okay, 15 and 15. I don't think I'm going to turn away. There are some possible torpedo repercussions to that. I'm going to go to squad max, actually, because they are trying to turn on me, which means they're trying to gain wind side. And I'm going to try to not let them do that. I don't even know what my destroyer is doing, but who, who cares? Here comes their torpedo run. Uh, let's evade. I don't think it did anything. We sank one of their destroyers, in fact. I mean, we're in good shape <clears throat> if this battle ends the way it is. Okay, this is what their follow-up torpedo run. <laughs> Oops, neglected you a little bit. I think we've done some good damage to the Suffering. It's kind of come a little bit closer to her, 
kind of come alongside her so that we can do some finishing shots. Just so make it all worthwhile. Oh, whoops, no, don't do that. Okay, we did do a little dodging there and it did say we were avoiding torpedoes, that's good. Right now our goal is just to finish this suffering class, which we believe is going to sink. Come on, get the shots off. Get the shots off. This is basically a five on one right now. Oh, looks like we've killed the rapier class, rapierier, <laughs> whatever it is in French. Actually, what we could do is get our destroyer to be useful for a second and um, actually target this, dist uh, we'll set, which one is our flag? Oh, we did some weird thing where the Brandenburg detached. Why? I wasn't paying attention. Did she get hit? No, she's still able to go as fast as she wants. Close enemies, perhaps? I don't know. Anyways, we'll get this destroyer to come in and make a torpedo run on the Suffering. Okay, Suffering, Suffering, good. The Suffering is suffering. <laughs> oh gosh, I'm so sorry. This is what those terrible battles in the last episode did to me. Look what they've done to me. I'm not even human. Okay, we do want that to happen. That's perfect. Destroyer. We want you to go, everyone on the starboard side of suffering technically still. Yeah, we're definitely doing a lot of damage to her though. Okay, move a little bit slower and prepare to launch torpedoes. Oh my gosh. Oh, did Brandon reattach? It doesn't say, but probably when I wasn't paying attention, she did. That's another, those are some good hits. I actually, I should make sure that we are hitting the correct suffering. Yes, we are. Okay. Turn everyone, turn everyone north. Let's take her down. Actually, we could get really unlucky and torpedo ourselves. That wouldn't even be unlucky with our current set of luck. It would just be par for the course. All right, guys, let's go. Let's take this guy down. Ah, a huge hit. Everyone go cruise speed. No, 16 is fine. Everyone go 16. So I'm not so confused by the different speeds. That's not actually the thing that's confusing me, of course. It's just the fact that I'm trying to get these guys to maneuver around a ship that's spinning in circles. It probably has torpedoes, yes. Four submerged, but we're not being very careful about that, are we? Okay, lots more hits. Hard turning. These guys back in it. Okay, good. I think that's about enough. Let's turn my battleships away. Let this guy go one more round, two more hits, fantastic. Let these guys, we'll, we'll like reconverge over to the west and actually, let's see if this destroyer wants to actually fire a torpedo. If not, you know, I'm sure the suffering's sinking anyway. There's one torpedo. There's another suffering class that we can go after here. So let's do that. Hard turn to port. That's good. Very good. Hit by two torpedoes. That's going to take her out. Good. So let's focus on the next one. Let's turn off as well the uh, flotilla attack. 
who is in control here? There it is. Destroyer, just do your own AI thing again. And we will try to focus on getting this guy. Might be biting off more than we can chew here. It's not necessary for us to do this. But if they're willing to engage um, like this, I think it's wise for us to try to do it. We're hitting with a few. That's pretty good. Oh, the worth? Which, what happened to you? Oh, you got your engine knocked out or something. That's fine, though. I, that's not the worst situation. Come on, two torpedoes. This suffering better be going down. Uh, we better loop back again just to absolutely make sure. We do need to protect the worth at this point. Okay, let's just pin her in, same way we did it to that ocean class. And then steady as she goes so that we can try to get um, consistent firing off. Heavy damage, slowing down. Okay, we might have to avoid torpedoes here, so what I'm going to do is mix everyone up, have these guys go here, turn on flotilla attack. See if we can get the V1 to go in and launch her torpedoes. Okay, now that she's coming back, let's go back ourselves. Still hitting, still hitting. Lots of hits, very good. Okay, let's start circling. The worth is, okay, well, we need to head, make all speed back for the worth. Oh, she's completely fine now, so that's good to know. We'll get her moving. It was a great opportunity for you, V1, to actually launch your torpedoes. I guess we'll try to do it manually. Usually doesn't work very well. Another good engagement in the end. I'm pretty happy. Oh shoot, don't ram, don't ram. Do you only have a starboard side? No, you have, yeah, you only have a port side. That's my, I apologize then, that's my fault. Sending you where you can't actually hit them. Let's have these two hang around here while these three ward off I kind of defend for the worth. Oops. So he's still moving. The suffering is still moving. Oh gosh, turret destroyed. Well, this is your chance, suffering, if you'd like to launch a, I mean, if you'd like to launch a torpedo, you can be a real hero. There it is. Probably won't hit though because she's still moving. I probably should have waited a little bit longer, but that's okay. It's surely going to miss. Oh, well, wow. That's the first time I've seen a torpedo which didn't look like it was going to hit actually hit. Most of the time, they'd go right through the middle and still miss. I should probably put an early end to this suffering. Especially with the other um, hits that we've been doing that have really crippled her already. So are we even firing? Yes, we are still firing, which means that we still believe her to be a threat. You can go back to AI control. You have no more, no more torpedoes for us anyway. Lots more hits. Lots more hits. And that's surely the end of her. Okay, good. Well, we'll set everyone back to AI. And we'll just make a getaway. 
two more battleships stunned, so I'm pretty happy with that. There's not enough uh, fingers on my hands to press all the different buttons I need to stop us from pausing all the time. Let's uh, get you to go your own 16. Let's go cruise. Why is the worth so slow? Okay, well, that's very good. So let's head up the speed quite a bit. Everyone's towing back into line. Fantastic. A really, really successful engagement. It's the ones that like this that make uh, the light cruiser and destroyer engagements um, bearable. <laughs> all right, so they did light damage to all four of our battleships. Only one remained undamaged, but we sank two, and that's the big thing. And we also sank three of their destroyers. Now, if you reduce the light cruisers and destroyers of an enemy nation, they tend to start declining a lot of battles which is really good. That's really good for us. So um, let's go ahead and bring ourselves back to the menu. Another 3,000, yeah, 3,300 point total net gain. I'm not gonna use this memorable battles anymore because I don't have any way of recalling them or it doesn't, I don't know what the mechanic does. So let's not waste our time. Now, that should put us in enough in a lead, hopefully that we can start putting pressure on the French to decline or to, I don't know. Hey, Japan actually helped us with something. Okay, that means we aren't sinking any of their, any of their ships. We aren't sinking any of their ships, but they sink some of ours. Enemy coastal raid, I hate these. I hate them to the death. <laughs> Cruiser battles are not gonna be, oh, I'll accept. AMC, because I, I wouldn't mind fighting the armored merchant, armed merchant ships. I was corrected on this once, I already forgot. It's armed merchant cruiser. Okay, good, good, good. We are helping them with like everything. Demonstrations are happening in both nations. It's funny. Convoy defense, I basically at this point, I just want to decline everything. Uh, we have such a huge advantage that they can't come back without us. Damn, we've really helped the, the Japanese. So that's why I knew it was a bad idea to do that, but it's fine. All right, we've intercepted a French raider run blockade. We'll fight this battle because it, it should be very quick. They will just avoid us and then we'll cry into our pillow, but it will happen very quickly. So let's go fast until we see them. We we'll charge straight at them. They run away. Yeah, surprise, surprise. We throw some white dots around them just to make it look like we have a chance of hitting. Oh, well, well we actually hit, that's not bad. We all know the reality that it's not true. I'm not gonna be able to hit them. This engagement's gonna end the way they all end with her just running away. Okay, another Six inches hits, not bad, it's not bad. If we got them to slow down, that would be very significant. A 12 inch gun hit might be significant. Only if they slow down do we know if we've done anything. Okay, they hit us. If they hit our engine room and we slow down, no. That would actually be the end of the engagement for sure. They're really dancing around the edge of our range much longer than they should. What are they trying to do here? I'm trying to make my uh, course corrections uh, small ones so that we don't lose speed when we're turning. I mean, we certainly have gotten a few hits off, but there they are. They're starting to leave range. They'll probably leave range now. There it is. Okay, good. Well, the, um, we got a few hits off, so they made us actually think we had a chance for a little while. We'll keep going at them just to maybe we can get lucky. We can find them somehow. No, okay. Well, let's go ahead and head back towards Brest. <clears throat> Crank up the speed and see what happens. Maybe we'll get lucky and intercept them. All right, so we did medium damage even. That's not bad. <clears throat> maybe that'll even put them in port for a little bit. 
That would be nice. Sorry I did that with the window a little bit tilted off, but... Yeah, 200 points for free, I guess it's something. I'm not sure I want to fight this. <laughs> I will fight it because it's better for us to run away. Oh, we actually have two ships. Interesting. Okay, this is cool. We're on a search line, very far spread apart. All right, let's quickly go to squad max. Change this to line ahead. Squad max, line ahead. We have a chance. We have a chance. What is it? If it's a heavy cruiser, we're in trouble. Yeah, it's a heavy cruiser. Okay, what does that mean? Do we attempt to fight it? No, their heavy cruisers are strong enough that our light cruisers just don't stand any reasonable chance. Let me confirm. Such thick armor and just way more guns than I have. Oh man, the little treat man is coming. So, actually what I'll do is probably call this episode to a close here because we've gone past 20 minutes. Um, we're going to have some horns going on in the background, which is annoying to me and possibly annoying to you. Uh, I'm really excited. We did really well in that battleship engagement. Not that it was officially a battleship engagement, but we finally got their battleships to fight ours, and the results were, again, really heavily in our favor. So, thanks for watching this episode. Um, I think the end of this war is nigh at hand. Very close. Very close to finishing. So, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next episode. Well, I guess we could see that nothing happened, and we'll exit here. Okay, so I'll see you in the next episode.